All right, guys, welcome back to Dude Ranch DIY. My name is Jake, and today we got some more tree work. As you can see here behind me, we got the sure track dump trailer all emptied out. And we got it tucked in in between the house and this fence over here. Shortly, the tractor's gonna be pulling up right in this area over here. And we got a big pine tree on the ground. Pine tree, as you can see, covered in vines. It was standing right there, right next to this fence, right by this house. It's actually a twin leader. You can kind of see the leaders were twisting and turning. We got Chris here who's bucking it up. We dropped it whole uh, because it actually split super low by the base. You can see the split there. Um, and the vines were gonna make it super challenging to climb up. So we decided that the easiest way to do it would be dropping holes. It's a little sketchy. Uh, I definitely had a butt pucker moment there when I was uh, making my back cut. But we had a rope in it. We got the Kubota tractor all the way back here with this rope. You can kind of see it through the bushes there. And Chris was pulling on the tractor as I cut. So we're going to be bucking this up and using the Woodmax MX8800 wood chipper to chip it all up, clean up, and then we'll be out of here.
Well guys, that's it. Chris is bringing out the last piece of brush. Um, job did not go the way that we planned. Did it, Chris? No. I think this was uh, maybe my first cheesecake special. Oh yeah, it was a pretty, pretty good slice of cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> so we call jobs that don't go the way that we planned a cheesecake special. And as you can see, the trailer is not filled with chips. It is filled with vines and logs and brush and branches and everything in between. We determined that although we were able to chip a bunch of the branches, as you can see in the little footage that we got, the Woodmax MX 8800 was just simply not up to the task of the sheer volume of vines that this pine tree had in it. So we decided to scrap the chipper, not literally, that would be a big waste of money, but we used the Wicked Grapple, which was much more suited to the job, I'd say. What do you think, Chris? Oh yeah, that was a lifesaver. <laughs> we would have been here for two days trying to chip up all the vines and stuff. Yeah. I think the way that we did it was good. We fucked up the wood into big pieces, moved it off the stuff, and just grappled it, put it in here, did a little bit of Swiss chipping, so we hopped up on top, made a bunch of cuts with the chainsaw, tried to compact it a little bit more. Swiss chipping. I've never heard that term. That's yeah. good. Yeah. I like that. So, yeah, Chris, as he said, hopped up in the trailer, cut everything up, sliced and diced it to compact it down so we could fit everything in which we did. The trailer is very full. We even tarped it, which I rarely do, but it's these few instances, I'm happy to have the tarp. And uh, let's come back here and I'll show you, this was their old Christmas tree, not part of the job, but I'll show you what we did here. He was keeping all the wood, so we bucked it all up. He's gonna burn this in his outdoor fire pit. Bucked it all up. Got about, I'd say about 90% of the vines out. We're not chasing all the ones in this U or anything. Flush cut the stump, cleaned up the whole backyard. We just got a couple little spots where branches and stuff dug in. As you can see, we took the chipper off. Super easy using the Pat's Easy Change. And uh, that's it. So job went pretty good once we figured out the right way to do it. All right, guys, so as you can see, we're both pretty beat, fighting all those vines and stuff, but that's it. If you like this stuff, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button. Just do it, it would help me out, thanks. <laughs> Comment any questions or feedback you got below. I'm sure you guys might have a better way that you could have done this. Sorry I didn't get all the footage that I normally try and get. It was just a mad dash to try and get it done. Um, you'll see in my next, probably my next video, that uh, there's some huge, huge changes coming to the Dude Ranch, or uh, lack thereof. So, um, I'm Jake. I'm Chris. This is Dude Ranch DIY. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.